Okay, I saw that video where he called Pearl mean. She was simply pleading for the only bit of money that she's got coming in. When I met Pearl, she was the most innocent being on the planet. We met in AA. We were instantly best friends. I was going through a tough time and she let me stay in one of her apartments for free. Oh, and then it all changed when he moved in. Thong man. She instantly lost all of her tenants. Everyone moved, fled, even I did. I'll never forget that day, that first time we saw him. It was the beginning of the end. We were out front gardening and the moving truck pulled away and there he was. Mm. I'm so sorry. Every time I think about it, I vomit a little bit in my mouth. He was wearing a leopard skin thong. It's all he ever wore. Itsy bitsy thongs. I mean, to get the mail, picking up his paper, going for a jog. He had a zebra one. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. SpongeBob. Is it not illegal in this country to have one made out of the American flag? But it was that first time that we saw him that broke my heart. 562 days into her sobriety, Pearl turned to me and said, I need to get my drink on. I got Pearl into those buildings years ago as an investment for her retirement. But then Thong Guy came and scared everyone out of the place. I can't even get nudists to move into there. But now Pearl's gonna have to get back to work. And at her age, it is a crime. No wonder she's been drinking again. Mom and Dad used to live together. I used to like to see him, but then I saw too much of him. He says it's because he's hot, but mom, she doesn't think so. My client is in no way responsible for the actions of his landlord, Pearl. Her juvenile behavior is an embarrassment to landlords and professionals everywhere. Her unintelligible speech, erratic behavior, and fits of crying are prime examples of how age has finally caught up with her, and exactly the reasons why she should no longer be running in that building. If Pearl wants to drink herself into a stupor, that's her business. Just so long as she no longer harasses my client with her obnoxious, misogynistic language. Pearl, if you want to fight, let's fight in a court of law. Bring it on. Oh. Ooh. Every time I think about it, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's too late. <laughs> That's not good. No, that's okay. <laughs>